In the past few months, California has experienced intense weather that has brought a significant amount of rainfall to the state. The rainwater has filled up usually dry lakes, and Owens Lake in Inyo County, 220 miles north of Los Angeles, is one such lake. Images taken by the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectral Radiometer, MODIS, on NASA's Terra satellite show the significant increase in water levels between March 2022 and March 2023. Owens Lake was naturally full of water until the Los Angeles Aqueduct was constructed in 1913, which took so much water from the Owens River that the lake began to dry out. It remained mostly dry until this March, when the heavy rainfall in California caused the lake to fill back up. This also marks the first time that the Los Angeles Aqueduct was breached by extreme weather, the Los Angeles Times reported. The atmospheric river that hit California on March 9th to 10th resulted in between 5 and 13 inches of rain falling in central California, which filled the Los Angeles aqueduct to such a degree that it burst its limits at Pleasant Valley Dam, flowing into the Owens River at a rate of 1,000 cubic feet per second. The recent increase in water levels at Owens Lake is particularly significant, as the dry bed of the lake is considered to be the largest single source of dust pollution in the entire U.S. The exposed lake bed, which has been dry since around 1930, releases dust into the wind that contains carcinogens, such as cadmium, nickel, and arsenic. According to a 2007 risk assessment report of the lake's dust, the lake emits 80,000 tons each year and has 130 times the standard 24-hour concentrations of dust in the air, endangering the 40,000 residents within range of the dust. The increased water level at Owens Lake is expected to have a significant impact on the local environment and public health. The water will help to suppress the dust emissions and improve air quality, benefiting the health of local residents and the surrounding ecosystem. The lake's restoration will also create new opportunities for recreation and tourism in the area. The entire state of California has found itself being rehydrated, with large portions of the state that were under intense drought conditions mere months ago now being completely drought-free. Data from the U.S. Drought Monitor as of March 28th showed that 55.3% of the state is free of drought entirely, a large jump from the 44.7% recorded on March 14th and the 26.8% on March 7th. Additionally, only 1.95% of the state is under severe drought, having dropped from 19% on March 7th and 8.49% on March 14th. The rainfall and snowfall that the state experienced in recent months have brought much-needed relief to drought-stricken regions. The state's reservoirs, which were at critically low levels, have seen significant increases in water levels. For instance, Lake Shasta, one of the largest reservoirs in California, has experienced a significant increase in water levels, reaching near full capacity in March 2023. This is a significant relief for the region, which has been facing severe drought conditions for several years. The increased water levels have also had a significant impact on the state's agriculture industry, which has been severely affected by the drought. The heavy rainfall has provided much-needed moisture to the soil, helping farmers to plant crops that were previously impossible to grow due to the lack of water. While the recent rainfall has brought relief to the state, experts caution that the drought is far from over and continued conservation efforts are necessary to ensure a sustainable water supply for the future. California and other parts of the western United States have been facing increasingly severe drought conditions due to climate change, which has led to decreased snowpack, reduced rainfall, and increased evaporation rates. The ongoing drought conditions in other parts of California and the western United States underscore the need for long-term solutions to address the water crisis in the region. The United States Bureau of Reclamation, along with other organizations, is exploring alternative water sources such as desalination and recycled water, while also promoting responsible water management practices and conservation efforts.